Hey there, welcome to Nepi Invest. Time for an A2 milk update. Now, it's been just over a month since A2 milk gave us that really nasty profit downgrade on December 18. And although the company has been largely quiet since then in regards to any news flow, we have seen some interesting developments uh, in non-A2 milk stories, um, news that may or may not affect the A2 milk story moving forward. So I'll touch upon those news items uh, during this video. But the main reason I want to do this video is to just look at the, the charts of A2 milk, particularly the short term charts, because I think you can learn a fair bit by just looking or studying the A2 milk short term charts. And I think it was Benjamin Graham who said in the short term, the market is a voting machine, but in the long term, it's a weighing machine. And what he means by the short term being a voting machine is sentiment is the main driving force between the movement of share price. Because in the short term, especially if you don't get any news flow in a company, what drives the share price up and down? Well, it's just sentiment, uh, negative sentiment, positive sentiment. So you don't have that news flow. Nothing else can drive the share price up and down. But in the longer term, you do get news. You do get financial news, that sort of thing. And that's the main driver of the share price moving forward. And you can see that when you look at the six month chart of A2 milk, which I'll show you now. So this is the six month chart of A2 milk. And you can see uh, bad things for shareholders of A2 milk. The share price was actually at $20 six months ago. That was the all time high. And ever since that all time high of $20, the share price has been going one way and that's been down. So what can drive the share price down by 50% in six months? Well, it's gonna be negative news, negative financial news. And A2 Milk has given us given us that in spades. Well, maybe, maybe not spades, but two profit downgrades. And the market hates profit downgrades. I hate profit downgrades. Everyone should hate profit downgrades unless you're a shorter. So that's the main reason you're going to see share prices really decrease, profit downgrades, negative news, negative financial news, and we have seen that with A2 Milk a plenty over the past six months. Now, interestingly enough, on the most recent profit downgrade on December 18, the share price dropped to $10, but it's bounced off $10 twice on December 18, December 19. Then it moved up to about $11.80, on decreasing volume, which is actually quite bearish because as the share price increases, you're getting less and less buyers willing to buy in. And then we saw a short term downtrend, which I'll show you in the next slide. And then as soon as it hit $10 on January 18, it bounced off it. So again, $10 is a very powerful level support for the A2 milk share price. And again, this just shows you that round numbers when it comes to share price movements are very powerful. And it all comes back to psychology of human behavior. I see this all the time with share prices. Uh, round numbers, round numbers are very powerful. $10 is powerful, 10 cents is powerful as a sort of resistance or support level. So you can see that with A2 milk and that's another reason why I find the A2 milk share price movement over the past month or so has been very interesting. So what I'm going to show you now is the three week chart. So looking at 15 minute candlesticks. So you can see a textbook downtrend from the 7th of January when this chart starts all the way to the 18th of January, a perfect downtrend. You can't develop a sort of a downtrend, create a downtrend better than this. I'll show you, show you in the next slide uh, how I draw the downtrend. But on the January the 18th, when the share price hit $10, again, a very powerful level support, it bounced off it. And then it moved through the downtrend. And as soon as it moved through the downtrend, it sort of broke that downtrend. It developed into a consolidation base, which has been doing for about seven or eight days. For, so from January the 18th to January 25, when I did this chart, it was in a consolidation base. And this is something you see all the time. You see a downtrend, the downtrend breaks, and then you see a consolidation base. And that base could last for a long time, for a short time. And what you're doing is you're waiting for a new uptrend to develop and that's the new uptrend. So you see downtrends and you see bases and you see uptrends. And I'll show you uh, when I include today's trading, what happened uh, when this base broke. So what I've done with this chart is I've uh, made it a little bit simpler, put a downtrend in, got rid of the moving averages 
uh, put the downtrend here with that sloping brown line. So all I did was connect a couple of peaks, and that's the downtrend. And when that downtrend uh, broke through, the, when the share price broke through that downtrend on January 18, or January 19 it was, that is the end of the downtrend. And that was the day after the bounce of $10. And ever since uh, January 19, the share price has just been going sideways, trading between $10 and $10.40. And what I was looking for here, if I, especially if I was a trader, I'll be seeing those moving averages come together, squeezing together, and then I'll be waiting for a breakout of the share price above $10.40. And we saw that today, hint, hint. So the first news item is this expansion of a trade deal between New Zealand and China. So they struck this trade deal in 2008, if I remember correctly, and this is just an expansion of that trade deal. So it struck on January the 26th, quite appropriate, um, and I'll talk about that in a second. And it was just that tariffs for New Zealand-based commodities, uh, dairy, timber, seafood, will be removed or cut. And if I remember correctly, dairy is going to be completely cut by 2024. And there's going to be lower compliance costs for New Zealand exporters into China. So that's good news for uh, those companies who export, export into China. And New Zealand will have 98% free trade with China. So while Australian-China trade relationships seem to be very strained right now, it uh, looks like New Zealand-China relationships is just growing. So that's probably good news for A2 Milk, because A2 Milk, for those who don't know, is a New Zealand company. The other news, I'm not sure how this is going to affect A2 Milk, but SM1, Sinle, uh, is uh, important, we'll say, well, A2 Milk is an important client or customer for Sinle, and Sinle has increased their forecast milk price from $6.40 to $7.20. I'm not even sure how this is going to affect A2 Milk. I thought this was going to be negative for Sinlay Milk, but uh, the share price went up to 3.69%. So I'm going to have to have a closer look at Sinlay because, because A2 Milk is a significant customer, it's not 64% of revenue. The three biggest clients for Sinlay make up 64%. So A2 Milk is one of the biggest, if not their biggest customer. It would make sense because they do the milk powder for A2 Milk. It would make sense that the better A2 Milk is doing, the better Sinlay is going to do, which means if A2 Milk does better in the future, Sinlay should follow A2 Milk's trend. So I'm going to do some research into Sinlay, and this announcement just is sort of giving me the impetus to do that, uh, that research. Um, and I don't know how this is going to affect A2 Milk moving forward at all because I don't understand uh, how the increased forecast milk price for Sinlay affects them. I thought it was going to be negative. In this case, it was positive because the market reacted positive to it. Yeah, so this is the updated charts, including uh, data from January the 27th. So I wasn't quite sure what the New Zealand-China trade deal would do to the share price of A2 Milk, but you could tell within the first few minutes of trading that was going to be very positive. Even before trading began, you could see the opening auction. Uh, there was a lot of bidders for shares in A2 Milk, and the share price shot up uh, from $10.20 all the way up to $10.60 on open. So. This is a perfect looking chart. You can study this chart. You can see the downtrend. Downtrend breaks into a consolidation base and then break out in the development of a potential new uptrend. I don't know how long this new uptrend is going to last. It could last for weeks, months, years will be perfect, but that's probably hoping for too much. Um, but yeah, a new uptrend has developed for A2 Milk. More than likely, I think this will last maybe a few weeks the share price might get back to about $12 or so, and then we're just going to see how much buying there is in the next few uh, days or so. If there's a lot of buying, the market be is becoming more positive around the A2 milk story, we might see the share price go above $12. So a very interesting story in the next few weeks for A2 milk. And I think, yeah, I'm not going to be buying, not going to be selling. I'm just a shareholder, long-term shareholder. It's very interesting to see what happens with the share price. If the share price does go back to $10 in the future, I might even put in a bit of a, a trading bid and become a short-term trader of A2 Milk. Who knows? Um, that's all in the future, and I can't predict the future. So that's all for this video of A2 Milk. Hope you've enjoyed it. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so if you do need any financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who can speak to your own financial circumstances. I am not that person. I'm just doing these videos for educational, entertainment, and research purposes. That's all for today. Have a good day. Bye.